אוקיי, טוב. Hello everybody, this is my new thing. Since we were locked down, Switzerland where I live right at the moment is in a lockdown. I was planning to make uh, street shows, to start with the street shows recently, but one month we're not going to be able to do any social events, any anything in that thing with that color in that uh, category <laughs> I don't know uh, so nothing that I planned came up so instead of uploading uh, videos instead of doing street show videos clown stuff um let's chat you can ask questions if you like you can do comments by the way to everyone who is watching my videos from long long time ago <laughs> long long time ago yeah the last ones were shot i think this the last one was shot actually uh this uh, for this uh, christmas but the ones that were uh, that are famous they are from uh, over five years ago so this year i thought of uh, starting making new videos uh, doing shows on the street making new videos but because of this coronavirus uh, situation my country is has prohibited all the events all the uh, all the stuff that uh, are, are socially social related so no shows okay um, yeah ask me anything I don't know where I'm going with this I don't know uh, this is just a try I don't know anything about live streaming yet I am just using my laptop at the moment and I'm going to figure it out on the go. So if anybody has any questions, let me know. <sighs> Dan Lohr. Uh, okay. So what made you take up the clown gig? Uh, do you meet any clowns and discuss different techniques? Um, well, I, uh, starting up, yeah, I met, uh, someone who was, uh, uh, someone who was already doing this on the street and I learned from him. Uh, by the way, at the moment, um, I'm writing something, I'm writing, uh, my memoirs. So... Who knows? Maybe this year I will be able to to give you guys to read something how I started and all that. Do I discuss uh, techniques with other clowns? Well, basically, uh, yeah, um, not that actively, not that uh, uh, not that I am in a, some active. Uh, social movement or whatever you want to call it like a, a group um i just discuss stuff whenever they happen if i am uh, if i'm on a festival or uh, if i'm doing street shows and there happen to be another person who is doing the same thing, another busker or another street performer, and we share 
our experience. I mean, I give him uh, some advice, he gives me some advice, and, and that's it. That's, this is how it goes. After every act, you keep your head down for the... I want to see your face. Uh, is what I don't know. The honestly on your face is what <laughs> hidden by hidden by Hatia. Sorry, man. I uh, it's a really exotic man, uh, name for for you. But yeah, after after the show is finished, basically. This is how a street performer realizes what the show was. Um, if the show is good, the hat is full. Basically, this is the moment where people tell people make you realize where you stand at the moment. And it goes up and down. It goes it could be very good, it could be really bad. You don't know. You never know before you start. It's always after. Здрасти, гледах твой клип и смешни са. Благодаря. Who are your master? Um, so, um, I'm going to talk about this a little bit later. The person that taught me uh, everything. There are a couple of people that I got this trade from it's not only one but there was one that was uh, um, that was uh, that I got the beginning from like the bug for the street and that was Kenny Kenny the clown if Omir Ignatov he's a Bulgarian clown that used to work uh, on, a, on the street and used to have uh, uh, used to perform in uh, France, in uh, in other countries, and now he has a theater in Bulgaria. I haven't heard from him for a while. Ivo, if you if you're watching, zdrasti, pozdravio Švecarija, živi zdravi. How long have you been doing this, Luzan? Louis uh, Kuntik. Okay, how long have I been doing this? Recently, I calculated it's more than thirteen years altogether. But if we, if I have to be honest, the last three years I haven't done much performing. Uh, I've been working something completely different. And for the last one and a half years, I've been planning to get back to performing in another way. Because before, it was only performing. It was only the street, which is quite risky. And uh, as a young person that's being adventurous and being... Uh, Taking that kind of risks, okay, but uh, with time, it takes it takes it, its toll. It gets harder and harder to maintain street. To maintain, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, um, there was another. Любо етер. Мислиш ли да се връщаш в България? За почивка и при семейството, да. Любо етер е asking me if I if I'm thinking about getting back to Bulgaria. If if it's just for a vacation, yeah, I will. But coming back and a long time. Long-term working in Bulgaria for now, that's not an option. Not with the stuff that I, not with my trade. Being a clown in Bulgaria, there is enough clowns there. <laughs> Love from India. Love you guys. 
Hey, there is a lot of Indians, um, a lot of Indians, a lot of Pakistani people that uh, recently started commenting and liking and subscribing and stuff. Tell me why. What did you see, guys? What did you, what made you do this? I mean, is it something, is it a viral video that, that went into an Indian group or how, how did it happen? I'm really, I'm really interested to, to learn how it happened. Ooh, my worst incident in the street. Uh, yeah, I recently wrote about it in uh, the thing that, I'm st that I started writing. Um, it maybe I can say that it was uh, scaring a pregnant woman. That was the worst thing that I, I did. I was young, I didn't know much about the, 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 the street, I didn't know, uh, because it, it, on the street you need, to, you need to be aware of all the details around people, all the, the stuff that surrounds you, and the moment you miss a detail, it's very important. Uh, if you miss a small detail and you go into an interaction, it might get wrong. And what happened with the, with the pregnant woman is that I didn't see her from from uh, from front from the front. I didn't see the belly. I saw just a, a woman walking. And what I used to do is I sneak up behind them and I just uh, scream or make a, make a loud noise and that would be funny for the, re the reaction would be funny. But in this, in this moment, the mistake was that she was pregnant and uh, yeah, that was not very nice. One of my worst shows. That was in, the, in Bulgaria uh, when I was maybe first season on the street. I didn't know much about it. I didn't know so many things that you learn with, with experience. I didn't have much experience, so this is how it happened. And yeah. India, when are you? <laughs> what is this? Uh, when I'm coming to India, I don't know. Well, not in this month, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, uh, my idea for these videos, if there's going to be another one, I'm not sure yet, I just woke up and um, I wanted to do something. So here we are. Um, if anybody wants to know anything uh, or you have any ideas what to talk about, just let me know. Write a comment and uh, we continue with this. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out the way that I can still be entertained. I, I can still be entertaining people in in this new circumstances. As I said before, I'm I'm repeating myself, but as I said before in the beginning, um, the idea this. Uh, this season was to start strong with the uh, people, with the uh, team that comes with me and shoots uh, my shows and then we edit and then we post 
on uh, several social uh, social media group uh, and channels and yeah this just uh, this situation postpones the the whole thing the whole plan so uh, okay Kakvorosmiva Klona what makes the clown what what makes the clown the clown laugh? Uh, huh. Politics, stupid people. Basically, that's that's kind of the same stuff for me. Um, yeah, almost anything. Almost anything. I have when I start a normal job. Uh, I often because. Uh, because I, when I don't work on the street, I have to work as in, in a normal situation with other people that are not artists. And usually artists are very well aware of the social situation and uh, we, mostly comedians, we have this tool called sarcasm. And through the years I have sharpened my sarcasm to the point of that some people do not understand it as sarcasm. And when I get into a funny situation for me, which my brain is always like this, I'm always having, I'm always turning this, this normal situation in my head with, uh, would it, it would be funny if something happens like this. It would be funny if uh, a guy just walks in and starts doing this and I'm, I'm having fun with myself. Uh, and, it, especially if it's something sarcastic, I am. I have been kicked out of <laughs> several jobs because saying something racist and or something very very inappropriate at the moment as sarcasm, not as something that I really think of, would get me fired <laughs> or something similar. Uh, back on the question, what makes the clown laugh? Everything. Everything. It's almost all the time I'm finding funny situations. And it's really hard to say what because it's so many little things. And sometimes you cannot express them. Sometimes it's hard to say, oh, yeah, it's this thing because the way it comes in your head and the way you say it are totally two different things that if somebody is doing stand up, or if somebody's writing jokes, you know that uh, when the jokes are in your head, they are one thing, and when you try to get them out, saying exactly the same thing, it doesn't happen. So, yeah. How many languages do you speak? So, Bulgarian, which is my mother language, English, which is the international thing, um, I started speaking when I was in Poland, I started speaking Polish, I understand and I used to speak uh, kind of fluent Croatian slash Serbian. I understand Macedonian because it's basically a Bulgarian uh, dialect, kind of a dialect of uh, Bulgarian. And now... I understand I understand Russian because it's also in the same family and I understand a little bit of German now because I live in Switzerland and uh, kind of start to understand the melody and the the structure of Swiss and German but I'm way far in not being able to speak. I'm way in the beginning. Your views on the movie Joker. <laughs> uh, yeah. Now you know why society must not fuck with clowns. <laughs> no, the movie was, was really nice. Uh, <clears throat> the movie, it's the dark side of, of clowning, 
it, it's not, I wouldn't say this is clowning. I would say uh, you could meet these kind of people uh, in the clown suit. Yeah. Uh, because usually these are sensitive. Clowns are very sensitive people. Comedians and artists are very sensitive people. And most often they have some kind of uh, social in, in a disability. Like they are not built for this or that kind of society. And this movie was an example for a very, very strong amplified character of that, that kind. It's a very good movie. It's a very good movie for me. But that's not what clowning is about. Uh, it is, in a way, actually, it is, in a way, uh, about being uh, vulnerable, being open, being making mistakes. Uh, and, yeah, you could say that it's... I don't know. Um, I lost my time, my my thought. Anyway, the movie was good. I liked it. I liked it. So, what else do you want to know? Thank you for coming back. Well, thank you for uh, sitting around and waiting. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, this coming back, this is, uh, well, it's, it's, uh, I haven't done anything, I haven't shot anything, uh, since since I was in Poland. Uh, no, I actually shot a little bit in Croatia. Uh, but the, the thing is that whenever I make a show, I don't have a team with me. I, ha I don't have... Uh, the intention is not online. And I used to work during these uh, during this time I, I have done shows and it's it's been kind of a regular thing but because there is nobody with me I go alone and um, nobody's shooting I depend on pe on people that I notice that are holding a camera going up going to them uh, and asking for the video to mail me the video or to to share the video with me this is how i get my material this is how i used to get my material the video that you most likely saw online is um, is made by a youtuber from poland that was just running around shooting random things and i happened to be there when he was with the camera so this is how you have the most viral video. So this is why I don't do regular shows uh, online. I don't do regular videos online. Какво обичаш да правиш през свободното си време? Haha, what do you like to do in uh, your spare time? Well, at the moment, I don't have much spare time. Uh, I don't. I didn't have much spare time because I, I am working as a chef in a restaurant. And I have basically three days of which I have to divide between personal life and home duties and plans uh, with my family and all that. Uh, but yeah, music, I play drums, I play guitar. I started recently looking into building guitars, repairing guitars and stuff like this. I like to do stuff with my hands. 
that's what I like to do in my spare time. How can I start being how can I start being a clown? Well, um, you can start by just starting. Put a red nose and see what happens. If you have it in you, clown is not the clown stuff. Clown is not, uh, it's a state of mind. It's not something you, it's not, it's not something you get, you buy. It's not something you buy. It's not the makeup, it's not the nose, it's what's inside here. It's the way you think, it's the way you react on the world. And it's a psycho-physical change that happens in you, that you drop into you, into this character that is part of you, but it's not part of you. This is what clown is about, at least. Uh, at least on a very basic level, I can explain it like this. Um, there are there are books, there are stuff online that you can uh, follow. Um, there is uh, just let just a moment. I have a book here. <clears throat> Okay, how to start? This is one thing. Eli Simon, The Art of Clowning. Maybe it's the opposite way for you, but it's called The Art of Clowning and it's by Eli Simon. This guy wrote it. It's a book that you can uh, do on your own, that you can read on your own, and it's full of exercises that you can start. This is the practical way. Don't stop making street funny videos. Well, <sighs> yeah, okay, I will, <laughs> eventually. You're a legend, thank you very much. You're a legend too. Радвам се, че си шеф в ресторанова, съм музикант, също има моя музикална школа и сирам на барабан и китар и пиам. Браво! Ей, Пепе, ти си фанни мен. Благодаря ти, Тусар Пол, където ти си от. Благодаря ти, благодаря ти за моите неща. Да. Okay, guys, it's been 20, almost half an hour. Wow, first one, half an hour, okay. Um, yeah, if anybody has any other um, thoughts on what to do in this time, uh, how, how much you get from the hat? Dude, that's a little bit, yeah, I'm... As I said earlier, I started writing something and there is one chapter about, about that, how much I earn on the street. It's a very hard thing to say because it's not, a stay, it's not a salary. It's not something you get, uh, it's not something you get as a steady income. It's always different and it's every day different and it's each place brings a different income. And you might have an estimation of it, but most of the time it comes as, yeah, how much that does people pay a tip in a restaurant? How much do you think if you're working as a waiter today, let's say, how much do you think your tip will be after a shift? It doesn't go this way. You just offer your art and hope the people will like it. There are ways that you can do it a little bit better. There are ways that you can uh, maximize your income and stuff, but you never know. 
I don't want to to say a number and then because uh, uh, it's not the same number. Love from India. Love from Switzerland. Thank you for watching. Hey, what the, what time is it in India at the moment? I'm inviting you to come to Bangladesh. <laughs> at the moment, I cannot go anywhere. First, first because uh, I have uh, a regular job and I cannot really go a week or a month anywhere just like this. Uh, second, because it's not the, 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 the borders are closed. All this Corona stuff is not, it's devastating for artists. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you everybody for watching. That was my first live. Um, maybe later on I will make another one. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you want to know. And that's it. Bye.